Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino, Sunday, April 14th, 2024. This is my newest segment of Markets, a look ahead. And look ahead, we are going to do. So, so here we go. Uh, no surprise to anyone <laughs> at all. It's incredible how easy they make this for us. Um, we, you and me, at the end of last year said this was the year for war. War in 24. And let me explain this to you. Um, and I'm sure most of you already know this. We haven't seen anything yet. We're being set up on a scale that is just off the charts here. Okay. Uh, we are about to enter a new, a whole new thing. Okay. With regard to hatred, with regard to division, with regard to how this entire world is being pushed um, deliberately towards not just an economic disaster area for which, for which we are in, um, but the, 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 the scale of human suffering that we are clearly um, being forced to deal with here is going to get monumentally worse. You have to understand the setup here. War is the goal. War right now is, um, well, expanding at an extraordinary rate. Again, no surprise to anyone here. And um, this mechanism is going to uh, be used to extort control out of all of us on a level that is going to be, frankly, um, beyond, I think, what any, anyone can believe. Because this entire thing with regard to the financial system, the markets, the economy, war, what central banks are doing, what they have in store for all of us, it all plays together. This is how you and I could stay so far ahead of this. Do you realize how this was set up here? Um, this this uh, attack, okay? Um, you define you define it however you want, okay? Uh, broadcast to the world, um, allowing the markets to price it in. Again, these things almost never occur during market hours. It's either weekends, which is their prime, uh, <laughs> you know, mode of of, uh, of of how they work these things here. It's their mo here. Um, because it allows the market to further price in uh, how this is going to play out. So, again, you have to look back at this and say, wait a minute, why doesn't stuff like this happen generally? And not, you know, 90% of the times. It, you know, it, it happens during off hours, off hours, off hours. And in this particular case, it was so telegraphed to everyone in the market. Did you see how this market's been responding as of late? This market's been smelling something for a while. How do we know that? We're watching the dollar higher on a relative strength basis. Higher, higher, higher. That's a fear trade, fear trade, fear trade, fear trade. And just as you and I would have expected, we started to see cash make its way back into the perceived safety of debt. Now, these are things we're going to need to keep our eyes on here. So, tomorrow, how this market's going to respond. Now, let me just say this, too. That this... It, it's complex. At the same time, it's not. If you and I understand that cash moves through these markets in predictable patterns, it allows us to stay ahead of the curve. And we've been doing this to a very, very, very high degree. No doubt about it. Okay. So, market has been, you know, it was telegraphed to the market. This was going to occur. They didn't do this by accident. Again, this was staged. It was allowed to occur when it did. Um, nothing is what it appears to be, always. Okay, understand that. And just the fact that these things occur again off market hours, on weekends, uh, you know, it, 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 the fact that this happened, uh, you know, I, I was expecting as you were, most of you, Friday or Saturday. Today would have been kind of tricky for this thing to get started. So, it, it wouldn't have allowed the market to digest it a little bit. But again, it already got priced in to a large degree. So we need to see how this is going to play out um, tomorrow. Uh, is it going to be a buying opportunity? That depends. Okay, here's how this... 
let's just throw out a couple of hypotheticals here. Okay. Um, this is not going to stop. Just, just so you know, uh, this is going to expand. The market understands that as you and I do here. That means that you and I need to... Actually, the beauty of this is you and I are already in the right spots from, from every, every perspective. I, I made something for you. Uh, I, made, I made this. Okay. I've been telling you about these, this and I wrote it three times because <laughs> uh, I can't underscore this enough. And I've been telling you about commodities for how freaking long. I don't know. I put out newsletter after newsletter. Again, free to everybody. Link in the description of this video. Going over commodities, exposure to commodities. I've talked about it here. How to do it. Um, it, it can't be easier. All right. Uh, so the mechanism, obviously, is going to be pulling more more cash into the now. And nothing, no other endeavor on this planet creates a greater need for borrowed dollars than war, than expansion of war. That's why we're seeing this right now here. And again, this is a scapegoat. Economy is coming apart. Inflation is going to continue to rise. Not only that. We're about to see, and we've been talking about this for quite a while, resources become more and more scarce. Now, this is, this is what they're trying to do. This was on Friday. Um, yeah, this is Friday. Drug shortages reach a new record high. Okay. Um, stuff like this, and especially the way this is being portrayed, fear. You see, they got people by the throats here, the diabetics, the hypertensives, mostly here. Uh, anyone that has a need for medication is going to be in a panic. And that's what they're trying to incite here because people can't think straight. This is going to develop into much more widespread uh, down, down the pike here. With regard to shortages of resources, I, I've warned about this from 10 years ago. I have said specifically that we are going to see um, a resource issue on a level that people are not going to believe moving forward here. And it's again, this is a way to extort more control out of people, make them afraid of anything, especially their, their own health. Let's say, for example, I need my pills, I need my medications, I need whatever it might be, I need, 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 need. You know, of course, this is going to bleed out to everything else too. Um, it, it's just, it, it, look, if you believe for a second that the spot we are in right now has not been deliberately set up for all of us and they're pushing us off the cliff here. If you think this, this is just a comedy of errors or just by chance, you need to uh, rethink how things are, why we are here, why you, why we are all in the spot we are in right now. This is no coincidence. This is not a comedy of errors here. This obviously, uh, I mean, the, the, the fact that how this has been set up here, how it's all been started here with regard to um, energy prices, and you and I have talked about this, I mean, energy prices are going to skyrocket. It goes without saying where this is going. And this is, again, part of the mechanism here, um, how they can extort more control out of us. Um, everything is shipped to us one way or the other, okay? This requires energy. Those costs are going to be passed on to you. And again, inflation is going to be blamed on the war. Uh, they're blocking off this strait, this body of water, this supply route, whatever it is. Now that they, and you and I have spoken about this for, for a while, a really long time, how they were going to set this up, the scapegoats. Um, again, you have to understand how, unfortunately, this is being portrayed here. We've been told or sold an epic lie with regard to inflation here. Uh, it's, it's not the fault of the central banks. Uh, it's not the fact that our loving, caring representatives, presidents, kings, queens have have uh, uh, allowed the system to get where it is. I mean, it's the central banks that control the economy. They control the, the markets, the system. They have the, they're the ones going out of their way to create inflation. Nothing on this planet, in case you were wondering, can make a central bank happier than what we're seeing here. Where does the cash come from for weaponry, for war? We don't have it. Again, I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell you what I said a million times. There is not a single developed nation on, on this world, anywhere, okay, that has a war chest. So to, to feed the machine 
Well, the central banks of the world have to provide the funding, which is inflationary. You're not allowed to know that. War is massively inflationary, obviously. You gotta create this cash, they gotta add digits to a screen, and vastly inflate. Again, this put this is how you and I have been on the right side of this like forever now. Are we gonna change anything based on where things are now? Because we've been ahead of the curve on this. Like like nobody. It's the truth. I mean, check the videos from the end of last year. Not only did we call war that was going to expand greatly in twenty four, I mean Layoffs. That's an, Go check the videos. It's astonishing. I, I look at the old videos and I go, wow. You know, you don't got to be psychic to understand what's happening. You just have to know who your enemy is, what they want, and it's following that exact scenario that we've been laying out. I mean, it's really the truth to the letter. It's borderline like frightening, but but the fact of the matter is, look, you don't got to be a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out. You just have to understand the situation and where they're. What they want, they want, they want us dead. That's number. One. That's that's a big one here. They want to reduce the population of the world. They want to extort control out of all of us. That they want us on our knees begging for a new system, and that's exactly what they're going to get. And they're going to blame the war. And this is this. I mean, you know, look. Obviously, we're directly involved in here. Uh, as you know, the United States, we, you, um, obviously got involved. It's not by shooting down missiles and drones and everything. We're not done. Okay, there's all kinds of military equipment going over there, um, courtesy of, of course, you, uh, the American people. And, and, and again, they're just dragging us into this as they always do. It's very simple for uh, the, 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 uh, the propaganda to get people to back war. And I'll tell you what's coming, and you know already what's coming here. A direct attack on U.S. assets, its people, its cities. This is where, if you don't think that's coming... Well, then I think you're kind of out there too. This is, and then they're going to drag you in. Then people, what are people going to do? They're going to go outside. They're going to fly their flags and their patriots. Yeah, well, that's what they want you to do. Of course, they have to stage this, again, to get people to back it. People don't want war. Generally, people are good at heart. I believe that, at least. No one wants to see people die and suffer. If you recall, Friday, the stuff we covered, we called this thing. We said, oh, if you believe in a higher power, Pray, because some people are not going to be here for this video and tomorrow too. This is going to go on and on and on. Maybe you, maybe me. We don't know where this, where this is going to go. I think we have a very good idea of it. But again, we have the high ground, I think, from every angle. Um, not just from a financial standpoint. I would say to love each other, care about each other, be charitable to each other. Um, you know, prepare yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, all that stuff like that. You got to be ready. Okay, You got to be ready. Uh, no one has promised to live to 99 years old like my best friend in the world, Ed Hall. Uh, but, you know, look, we got to be ready. We know what they want. And it's unfortunate that we can't stop it. We have no say-so. We have no representation. You all know this here. And nobody, whoever they put behind the Resolute Desk, understand, it's going to be the traitor number one. Okay, that person, whoever it may be, is not going to fix the damn thing. Um, the world is already set on target. This is we're living in a side effect of what has been planned out decades and decades ago. But no one's going to tell you that. No one running for president is going to tell you that. No one currently sitting in an in, in office is going to tell you that. This is all on a fixed pathway. Um, and again, we're just we, you and I are just along for the ride. So what are we going to do, you and me, um, tomorrow? We need to watch, well, you already know, because you follow this blog. We need to see how the debt market responds. Okay, let's talk about, I guess, what we need to do. So, if in, I expect to see uh, the 10-year yield drop, okay, that mechanism, this is deliberate, and this is why we're seeing war expand too. Again, look, this whole farce that we have been sold about temporary and transitory inflation and what central banks may or may not do. All they're trying to do is inflate. That's how a central bank keeps their power. Understand what's about to occur. A central bank's power resides in one thing, and you know what that is. That is their ability to inflate. War, expanding war, allows them to do this on a scale that is just beyond belief. So central bankers around the world couldn't possibly be happier right now because this is going to allow them to become stronger than they even are now. Um, in the last 10 years, we have seen central banks reach their pinnacle. 
their absolute pinnacle of power, none more so than the Fed, as they've been suppressing rates here, uh, been called on to keep rates suppressed, uh, weak dollar, some presidents even called for negative rates here. Um, the, 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 it's astonishing what we have seen. This easy money has created this ex extreme uh, environment of distortions. Okay, nothing is, the, the, there's no price discovery anymore behind an asset. Fundamentals don't matter. It's all easy money. It's all the promises that are being made to Wall Street. Uh, about profitability, about cutting corporate taxes, or and you and I are paying for it all. Or we always do. You know, it's so it's it's us who who bankroll this entire thing. As you know, like I always tell you, there's no such thing as trickle down. Any anyone trying to sell you the trickle down effect, you know, let's make the rich richer, and then we're all going to benefit from that. No, it's it. This is a fable on an epic scale. Okay, uh, all, all they're doing is pissing on all of us, and that's the trickle down effect. And I think I can say that. But with a high degree of uh, reality, um, so you know we just we're just going to get destroyed. The wealth always goes up, okay. And this mechanism of war, an expanding war, is going to make the one and two percenters way, 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 way richer here. But understanding the dynamics of this here, realizing that, okay, is this a is this a black swan event? I already told you no. All right. Um, I, I, I checked my email this morning and black swan, black swan. This is not a black swan. I already told you Friday before this is not going to be a black swan. A black swan is an unforeseen thing. This was broadcast to the world, okay, to allow the markets to price it in. Uh, no coincidence that this happened after market hours on a weekend. You understand? Clear. So we know how they work. So in no way. Is this a black swan? Um, so, so understanding that again, and understanding that we know at least with a large degree of accuracy how cash moves through the markets. We just need to watch the debt market, how it responds. If we see a drop in the debt market here, um, where where are your eyeballs going next? Right over to the dollar. Does the dollar make another knee jerk higher? If it does, it's a fear trade. You should expect to see the market fall. And there's some pressure here. Wait till this balances out a little bit. And then I believe this is going to be, you know, beat me up all you want. Uh, a buying opportunity for people to get longer the market. Let me say something else here in case you don't know. Look back on history. War. War has been used as a mechanism to prop up this stock market since, again, forever. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. You've got the mechanism of cash making its way into the perceived safety of debt. That's, and you and I have spoken about this for I don't know how freaking long. That's what's really going on here. Uh, with regard to central banks cutting rates, they're going to do it. All right. But they, they want to use the mechanism of war to let the market do it by itself. You understand? Get in there. Buy more debt. Uh, we already understand that the, the last auction here for, for, for debt in the United States, there's no, there, it almost went uh, no buyer here. Um, so the, the Fed's got to buy more, and that's what they want to do anyway. Uh, central banks, their goal is to buy more debt, to be the lender, buyer of last resort, none more so than the Fed. They are the government. Once you people wake up to that, you're going to be a little, It's not the Trumps or the Bidens or anybody else, okay? It's them. They make the rules. They control the cash. They, they make the rules. That's the way it works. Okay, it's the way it always has been, unfortunately. Um, so anyway, uh, that's how I see this playing out here. But again, look, as I said, does this surprise you that I'm saying commodities, commodities, commodities? No, we've already been in that spot already. We know what we're doing. This this situation here of hyper debt is just getting started. Okay, so what do you want to do about it? What do you want to do about it? You want to be on the opposite side of that. Okay, and commodities is how you do it. None more so than these. None more so than these. Well, more specifically, this, silver. Uh, you, you will know that. So we're going to continue to do what we're doing. N nothing's changed. The beauty of this whole thing that you and I have been for years and taking advantage of this for freaking years, years, is, well, no matter what they do to us, we're already in the right spot. So anyway, look, this is... Uh, I think all of you get it. You're all, you're all, you're all well versed in, in, in this entire thing. Um, that's kind of it. I don't know what else really to say here. No one's surprised who follows this blog, shocked or anything about what you're seeing. We, we knew it. 
Um, we know where this is going. Um, does anybody here expect this to, by some miracle, get better? Uh, I hope not. Uh, it's not going to. So we need to counter strategize against this entire thing because this whole thing is, is designed to destroy us, literally. So if that's the case, then we need to do something about it, not sit back and suck our freaking thumbs here somewhere. You understand? That's what they want you to do. They want you to sit back, be afraid. Um, it's an incredible thing. It really is. And just real quick, you know, uh, it's kind of funny. I, I, I've, I've been getting pounded lately uh being and then i get i love that i'll tell you why i love i love it because it, it tells me that i'm over the target you want to make an enemy you tell them the truth that's a fact um and uh yeah so uh it's kind of interesting you know i i i, <laughs> I didn't want to talk about it but i put out a newsletter uh yesterday about the things that people are saying about me and i love it because if i if people are talking about greg greg might be must be doing something right so whatever all right look people as always look i love all of you um, all of you, even those of you that, I don't know, uh, have something negative to say about me, that's fine, okay? You're going to come around when you look back on what we've done here, this community we've developed here, uh, the fact that we've nailed this, nailed this, oh, and not just this war thing from yesterday, this new expansion of war, because we knew it was coming anyway here, and we know what's coming, something much, much worse much, much worse. So just be ready for that too. There's going to be a direct attack on American assets, probably something right here. It's going to be devastating and because they, they, they need people to back war. Um, they need people to put on their patriotic outfits and, uh, you know, oh, we have to kill these people and we have to kill these people too. Division, hatred, all the stuff that you and I have been saying here. You know, we're coming together as a community. Love each other, care about each other, be charitable. They don't want that. We are the enemy by coming together. You have to understand that. This, we, we could win if we all just came together, but they won't allow that. There are so many people that have been indoctrinated to the highest possible order, the red team, the blue team, you know, hate these people and despise these people. They got people by, by the balls, okay? They know how to play the game. Um, the indoctrinated, they're all Karens. You listen to them bitch on one side or the other. It's just the funniest thing in the world. Um, it's it's hilarious to see what's going on. But again, you can see these 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 people have like you know a negative IQ, and that's fine. They, they, let let them stay with it because we need people to lose, and that they're going to continue to lose with that mentality, and that's fine. But you and me, we're coming together. Okay, we understand that we're not each other's enemies, and uh, unfortunately. Uh, there are some that want you to believe that we are. All right, look, so I am so out of here, people. Please comment, share this stuff, get it out there. Um, we will reconvene tomorrow morning. And uh, again, look, I don't care what they do. We got this covered. And we got each other. So what else can I say? How can, how can we be beaten? I think we're freaking invincible um, because of that, honestly. All right, look, I could go on and on here. But I know you've got stuff to do. i got stuff to do. So again, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, please. I'll see you in the morning, and uh, that's all.